Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It is your favorite tutor, Mr. Khlajwayo. Welcome back to Back to Basics, right? Please ensure that you like, you subscribe, you comment, and ensure that you actually go back to some of the videos that we did, whereby we're just doing a brief introduction of what is your sign rule, your cosine, and also your area rule, right? Now, let us to look at this particular question seven here. So this is a past paper. Now they are saying here, uh, in the figure below, you're having triangle ABC, which is drawn where uh, AD, it is perpendicular to BC, where you're having your A, C, B, which is P, and also you're having C, D, which is going to what? Which is going to be three AB. All fine, right? Now, I want us to look at this. Now, they are also saying you're having your triangle uh, DCB, which is drawn such that you are having DCB as 35 degrees and you're having BT as 1, 2, 1, right? Now, the first thing that they want us to do, they want us to uh, to find out what is going to be your angle of P here, right? So they want us to find out what is going to be your angle of P. So what is the first thing then that you are going to do now from here if you want to find out the angle of P? I want us to look at this, right? I want us to look at this. Now we are going to start here and say, if they are saying, for an example here, they are saying CD is equals to 3AB, right? So if, let's say, for example, I let my, uh, let's say, for example, I let my CD uh, to be equals to what, or CB rather, this is B, CB to be equals to what, to be equals to X. What does this mean? Right, so which means if my CT is equal to X, what is going to my AP? If let's say for an example, it's like this, isn't it? That this is going to be X is equal to three, uh, AP, right? Which means now the length of my AP is going to be same as what here? It's going to be my AP is going to be same as X over what? This is going to be X over three, right? Oh, it's okay, right? Because I'm going to divide by three both sides, which means my AP is going to be X over. 3, while this is going to what it's going to my x. Oh, it's okay. Now, I am going to use my trigonometrical ratio here. Uh, now, I am going to use my trigonometrical ratio to find out what is going to be what, what is going to be uh, this one here. Then, I'm going to say, look, to find out my P, I am given the side which is opposite to angle P, right? So, this is going to be your cos, right? Or right, this is going to be your Tan, right? I'm going to say tan of angle P, right? Because I'm given the opposite side, which is what? Which is X over 3, dividing it by what? I am dividing it by uh, uh by X, right? Because remember, this is Tor, which is opposite over IJ side, right? So which means my tan of angle P, remember this, I can write this as X over 3, I can make this to be multiplication, right? But when I'm making this to be multiplication, this is going to be 1 over x, right? And then you see that the x and the x are going to cancel each other, which means this is same as 1 over 3, which is going to be your tan of what? Tan of angle P. Then which means now my angle P is going to what, right? Isn't it that I'm going to plug in my calculator and say uh, my shift tan of P, uh, this is 1... Uh, over what? Remember, this is 1 over a 1 over 3. What is it that I'm going to have here? This is going to be same as 18. Right? I'm going to get this angle as 18, comma, uh, 4, 3, right? This is 18, comma, 4, 3 degrees, which means this particular angle here is going to be 18, comma, 4, 3 degrees, right? I am hoping that this one uh, makes sense. Now, we are moving swiftly to the next one, right? So, the next one is saying, if P is 18, right? So they are saying if P is 18,4, which is literally something that we found, right? So they are saying they want us to calculate what is the length of your CT. How can you calculate your length of your CT now from here? So look, already they are telling us that this, uh, this is going to what? This, uh, it's P over 2, which means now I can literally say this is going to be 18 over 4 divided by 2. This is going to be, I think this is going to be 9.2 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, right? So this particular angle here is going to be 9.2 degrees, right? So in order for me to find out my CT, which trigonometrical uh, rule 
uh, which rule am I going to use here? Here I am going to apply my area, or rather I'm going to apply my sign rule, right? Why am I applying the sign rule? Because look, I have this side that corresponds uh, with what? With the angle here, 135, right? Uh, I have, remember these two are corresponding, right? I have 135 and also the angle here. And then now I am looking for CD, right? And then here I have only the angle, right? Remember, for me to use a, a sign rule, I must have at least a complete pair. And what constitutes a complete pair? It's basically uh, an angle that is opposite to a side where both of them, they have, we have the side and also the angle. And the other one must have what? You must have at least either the angle we are looking for the side or you must have the side looking for the angle, right? So in this case, what is that I'm having here? So here I am having this. So they, I want to calculate my CT. So I'm going to say, look, my CT, it's going to be divided by sine of angle. This is going to be 9.2 is equals to what else then now I'm having here. So what is going to be the opposite side here? Now this is going to be 1, 2, 1, divide, or 1, 2, 1, divide by sine of 1, 3, 5, right? Uh, 135, which means now my CD here is going to be same as 1, 2, 1 multiplied by sine of, and uh, this is going to be sine of 9.2 degrees. This is going to be divided by sine of what? Sine of 135 degrees. Then I'm going to plug this in my calculator, right? I'm going to plug this in my calculator. So what I was having here, let's see, I was having, uh, this was 1, 2, 1 uh, sine of what is this one? This is 9.2 degrees. Uh, this is 9.2 uh, degrees. And then here, this is, uh, you are dividing this by what? This is going to be sine of uh, 135 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, right? And what is that I'm going to find here? I am going to find out that this length here is going to be same as 27 comma what this is 27 comma 35 right or rather this is going to be 27 comma 36 uh, meters right which is going to be this particular length here once again right so i am hoping that all of this makes sense and we are in a position to you know to answer these types of questions whenever you are given right please don't forget to like to share subscribe thank you let's meet on the next one